Welcome to PrairieFoxSurvival.com. I'm Richard, and we got us a goose yesterday, and we're getting ready. Some of my friends wanted me to do a video on it on how I dress one out. And normally, this is going to be a little more difficult inside. I didn't have time. It got dark on me last night. And normally, I would take it out and tie it to a tree limb. And then I could gut it and then pull the skin, come up and skin it. So today's going to be a little bit more difficult trying to do it inside. And I do have the help of my bird dog pup down here that's all excited about the goose. So you might see her in the picture every now and then. So first thing we're going to do to start with, I'm going to snap the leg, the foot here. I'm going to cut that off. going to do, and this is going to get a little bit messy right here, what we're going to do is come down and we're going to open up and gut it. And now I skin my, my uh, geese, I don't pluck them because uh, as another video we're going to do later on this, I'm cooking it, a goose is greasy and by skinning it cooking the goose upside down on the breast, uh, it does take a lot of that grease out of it. So therefore, like I say, I'm going to be skinning mine. Now, as I say, this is a much easier process if you can hang the goose up. in under that skin layer there. Work it down. The biggest thing when you shoot your own goose is watch it when you're eating it because you are going to have some buckshot in it. Okay, we come down to a leg now. So, I'm just going to take that, pull that part away, and just get rid of it. Dogs having fun chasing feathers right now. And now we're getting into the neck here. Now I don't keep the neck on the goose. Huh? And once you've got the goose this far, what I'm doing is just a little bit of time. Like I say, this is much easier if the goose is hanging. And I'm just going under that skin, between the skin and the meat, and just pull it back as I go. Now, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to cut through right now the esophagus. Okay. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the wings here. I'm going to get under that joint. say the head would have been the last normally if I was outside. And now we're just going to come down the back here, come under that skin. I hope I'm 
staying enough out of your way where you can see this. Feathers everywhere. Normally if he was hanging you could just pull down and it would come over his legs and everything. But doing it this way that isn't the case. So we've got a lot of goose feathers on him but what we're going to do now is going to come in here we're going to gut him out. Can't beat a good goose liver. That's a good healthy looking one too. Then we're going to start removing the intestines. Get up in there, we want to get that heart. There it is. Here, what I'm going to do is come right down here and cut it. Flipping over, I'll get the rest of these little bit of feathers off. my hands and I'll be right back to you. Okay we have the have him pretty well cleaned out on the inside so what I'm getting ready to do now we're not going to video this uh, he's skinned and what I'm getting ready to do is go clean him up in water get some of the fine hairs the feathers pin feathers that are sticking and get him cleaned up inside and then I'm gonna soak him I like to soak my wild game in salt water, cold salt water, just to bleed them out. So we'll be cleaning up the liver, the gizzard, the heart, and cleaning up the carcass here. And in our next video, we'll show you how to cook a goose, for those of you that have never done it. And I want to thank you for coming to PrairieFoxSurvival.com, and hope to see you the next time.